in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. I am the Angel Snuffin' Up 7 on YouTube, and welcome once again to another edition of the Reality Temple on Earth. And I am your host, your uh, brother and friend, Talib Ibn Ra. Excuse me, I, my throat is a little bit uh, scratchy, so please bear with me. I was thinking, and I would advise us to do that. There's nothing wrong with thinking. There's nothing wrong with critical thinking. Some of us think we practice critical thinking. But for those of us who know exactly what that is, when we hear your thoughts that you think are critical, then it is no more than the average. And the average is ignorant. The average is, is not thought out. Uh, it's not examined properly. It's not held under a microscope. It's, it's not detailed. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to us? But since we think, since we think that we think critical, then we are so happy and we become arrogant. See what I know? See what I know? And you really don't know nothing. You just are just filled with emotion and you become grandiose. No more, no less. But I want to say this very quickly before my time runs out. I was thinking and becoming a little analytical about the thing we know of as racism. And do you know? And I was I was just pondering about diseases. I was pondering about natural disasters. I was pondering about wars. And I could be incorrect. But it seems as though racism has become the greatest plague of humanity than anything, than any volcano, than any earthquake, than any uh, uh, plague by some virus, any type of natural disaster, because this mental illness, this disease, this Mental disaster has caused humanity to hate itself just based on a skin color. Now some of y'all will quickly say, especially during the early 80s, when you had in the news almost every day, talk about the Crips and the Bloods. And you said that it is wrong. For another man to kill a, another man just based on the color of his clothes. And in schools, they had to change the attire of the children because some of the children wanted to be affiliated with the blood. So they would wear uh, red. Or they wanted to be affiliated with the Crip gang so they would wear blue. And you say that it is wrong and wacky to kill another person over color. But... We do it every day. We hate people because of color. Well, you said, well, the white man did this and the white man did that. Well, that's the same thing that the Crip in the Blood say. Hey, that blood killed my homie. That Crip killed my homie. That Crip or that blood did this. That Crip or that homie done that. So that justifies me. And I know who they are because they're not wearing my colors. I saw this homie was murdered by somebody wearing red. So anything that I see a red, I'm going to go out and kill. 
because they killed one of mine. And so, it is like many of us. We do the same thing. As soon as we see a white person, oh, I can't stand them. Look what they've done. They've done this and they've done that. That devil, that cracker, that demon, and all like that. Automatically, based on color. And then, now, we got to give credit where it's due. Caucasian people or the white man started this color thing. There's no doubt about it. But we as black people, we become a victim of this. Because now we are just as sick. Just like he made us inferior because he wanted to make himself superior based on the color of skin. Now we've done the same thing. We want to build a new world based on a color. We always talking about a color. You don't recognize it. We don't understand and we don't realize how sick we become because we've been under sickness. And when you when you are around a person that is sick, and this is sad because this is not sick by a virus. This is not sick like some kind of disease. This is a mental illness that's not supposed to be contagious. This is the first mental so-called illness that has become contagious. And we spread it to our children. And we spread it to other people. And when we walk down the street, instead of believing or saying, look, they go a human being, he's brown. They go a human being, he's black. They go a human being, he's white. We look at color and class and race and we have stereotypes and these things in our mind, just like the Crips and the Blood gang, which are outlaws, which nobody likes a gang because gangs kill innocent people and they are involved in illegal activity. It's all based on color. It's all based on a sign. And we do the same thing. You're not wearing a bow tie. You're not selling a bean pie. You're not saying hotel. You're not saying assalamu alaikum. How about the garden? You're not, you don't have my signs. Then you must be with the, on the other. You must support the other side. If you're not wearing red and I'm a blood, and you're in my territory, you must support the Crips. So I got to go down on you, boy. Don't y'all see how sick we become? Because we've been around sickness. Racism is the worst thing that has happened to humanity. It is worse than the bubonic plague. It is worse than any volcano eruption or earthquake. Because this mental illness, not only is it contagious to us who are living now, we pass it all down to our children. And our children really don't know what's happening. They don't understand how it got that way. The bloods and the crypts kill one another. And really don't know how all of it really started. And why they should be doing that. Because there's no benefit. Where is the benefit? Whew, I don't understand. And even myself, you got to, we got to get out of that mind. We got to escape what racism has done. Black people can't be racist, but we are victims of the racist. And we become sick like those who are oppressed us. And this is a problem. That's one of the reasons why we are divided, because some of us, some of us believe the other blacks are working with the blood. And y'all just so happen to be crips. And it's very difficult, as you know, to get the bloods and the crips together. <laughs> but even they tried. And as far as I know, it's working decently. Because they understand 
and have begun to understand the sickness. And we as a people must understand we have become victims of a sickness. We're trying to become, heal ourselves with racism when racism is the thing that causes us to be sick to begin with. It's not going to work. It's going to make us sicker. And when I hear these brothers and sisters out here hollering and screaming, they don't realize they have become diseased. Jot down your comments. My time is out. Thank you for listening. This was and is. I'm your brother, the Angel Slumped Up 7, Talik Ibn Ra. This was and is Reality's Temple on Earth.